What's up everybody? Today is a how to shoot a basketball really for the beginner player or if you're curious, if, you, if you're a coach, a few of the details that I would encourage you to focus on when you're shooting the basketball. Let's start out with how we hold the basketball. I tell my players there's three different options that they can use with their strong hand holding on the basketball and I want them to do what's most comfortable for them. So if we take the air hole, the center of the basketball, one option that I'll give my players to use is pointer finger to the center of the basketball. It's easy to use the air hole and figure out where the center of the basketball is. Now if my pointer finger is on the center of the basketball when I shoot it, the ball should leave my pointer finger last. The other option that I'll give my players is the middle finger on the center of the basketball. Obviously if I shoot middle finger in the center, the ball should leave my middle finger last. And the third variation of how we can shoot a basketball is, is the way that I shoot it and that's splitting those two fingers on the center of the basketball. Personally I feel like that gives me a lot of balance when I when I shoot the basketball but again I need to make sure that when I shoot it it's coming off these two fingers last. If I shoot the basketball and I can feel it coming off my ring finger and my pinky finger I'm not going to be a consistent shooter. That basketball is going to come out to the right side of my hand. Same thing goes for if I'm getting my, my right thumb involved in my shot. If I take my shot and I feel leaving these two fingers last, I'm going to miss a lot of shots to my left. Again, I can't be very consistent. So those are some basic things that we can use with our, with our strong hand. Now I also like to make sure that my thumb does not go in front of my wrist. And by doing that, I mean, we see a few players, they'll put their thumb here, all right? Very difficult to be a good shooter with this thumb all the way in front. I like to put it somewhere around 90 degrees, okay? Or a little bit more inside. Whatever your comfort zone is, that's a great spot to shoot the basketball. I know a lot of players really like to put their thumb in this seam right here to kind of grip the basketball before they shoot it. If that works for you, you can, you can try that as well. My left hand, my guide hand, a lot of players will, or coaches will teach making a T with the thumbs there, okay? And again, I don't say that you have to do that, but I want it to be comfortable and when you take the shot, I want you to really make sure that this left hand is really helping aim the shot and the off hand is not getting in front of the basketball or behind the basketball when we take the shot. Okay, it's, it's really on the side as we're coming up and we're taking our shot and we put it in. Now, I generally have my off hand, if I were to hold the basketball like so, my off hand would be right around this straight line like so. So when I, when I come up, you'll see that the off hand's right here and how I shoot the basketball, I barely touch it at all with my left hand. It's basically just my fingers holding on to the basketball, keeping it, keeping it steady. My palm isn't even touching the basketball at all. And when I take my shot, it's going right through. Now let's go on the basket and talk about a few more teaching points. 